another year, another New Year's party, another group of people coming up to Beer Biceps and telling him, Hey bro, don't you run a fitness channel? How are you having beer? Do you want a beer belly? My personal favorite alcohol is beer. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I'm a big beer person and I do drink beer often. And that is why the channel is called Beer Biceps. I do not believe that your life should be about fitness entirely. And you should also do all the things you have fun doing. Now, I've grown up in Bombay and Bombay does have a big drinking culture. I've grown up having beer and that's something I'm not gonna let go of. I've not grown up having beer, but whatever, you know what I mean. Since I'm 18, I've been having a lot of beer. And I do feel that your life should be a balance of fitness and fun. And if you have fun with alcohol once in a while, it's okay. But keep in mind, through this video, I'm not promoting alcohol. I am promoting fun though. Drink, but drink responsibly. Now here's the thing, most people think that beer is unhealthy because of the term beer belly. But that is just a slang word. A beer belly isn't caused because of beer, it's caused because of an unhealthy lifestyle. Now, when you think of the term beer belly, you automatically think of a pot belly. And that's exactly what it is. Now, here's what you need to know. There's belly fat, but there's two kinds of belly fat. The first is subcutaneous belly fat. So subcutaneous belly fat is the fat that's placed just under the skin. You know, something you can actually kind of squeeze with your hands, that's subcutaneous. The other kind of belly fat is visceral belly fat. Now, this is kind of deeply placed. It's kind of inside, it's near the organs. And a typical example of this is someone who has a pot belly. So, you know, if you try to grab their fat, it doesn't get squished. It kind of feels a little firm and bloated. That's a typical example of someone with a lot of visceral belly fat. Now, keep in mind that having a lot of visceral belly fat is actually a dangerous situation to be in in the long term. But what really causes deposition of visceral belly fat? Now, the first thing you need to know is that men are a lot more prone to depositing visceral belly fat than women are. And the older you get as a man, the more prone you are to developing that pot belly. Now, here's the thing. There's no difference between depositing normal fat, subcutaneous fat, and depositing visceral fat. That's going to be decided by your body. But what is going to be decided by you and your mind is how you can control that deposition of fat. And that's where decisions and your lifestyle comes into play. Now, if you're figuring out how to not put on weight but still enjoy your drinks at the same time, make sure you check out the video I already made on how to drink alcohol and still stay fit. But today's video is more about my favorite topic, beer. And that's what we're going to be talking about. Now, if your main goal is to stay fit, the protocol you should be following is that you should only be having neat liquor. You should just have those 30 ml shots and at the most with water or soda. But keep in mind, you're partying for a reason. You're partying to have fun. And that's not a very practical decision. Now, when it comes to beer, keep in mind that one pint of beer is about 200 calories. But keep in mind that that one neat shot with a mixer is about 300 calories. That's 100 calories above beer. And that's the first reason beer is a more practical option when you're going out and you're still keeping your fitness goals in mind. Now, some people might argue that beer is high carb. Keep in mind one pint of beer is about 17 grams of carbs, one banana is about 27 grams of carbs, and one can of a soft drink is about 40 grams of carbs. So even if you're using half the soft drink as a mixer, you're actually having more carbs than you're having with your beer. And a personal protocol I follow is that I try keeping my alcohol sessions after the gym. So those simple carbs in the beer go into fueling my gains. And finally, here's the thing you need to know about getting fat while drinking. Most people who get fat because of alcohol aren't getting fat because of the alcohol. They're getting fat because of the mixers and because of the food they eat with the alcohol. And also when you're drinking beer, here's the thing. A beer hits you a little slowly. So a lot of people end up drinking a lot of pints to get drunk. And in that process, they end up consuming a lot of carbs and a lot of calories. But here's what I do. Now, every time I know that I'm going to go out drinking, I prefer to only drink beer. And that's primarily because I can actually calculate the exact estimate of carbs and calories that I'll consume that night and I'll set a cap for myself. Now, if I'm going out and this is me talking from personal experience, the thing with hard liquor is that you can't really keep a tab on exactly how much you're having, especially at something like a house party. You can't keep a tab on what's exactly 30 ml and what's exactly 60 ml. And that's why drinking something like beer is a more practical option according to me. So if I'm going out, I'll keep a tab on how much beer I can drink. I'll be like, okay, today I'm just going to drink about five pints and that's it. And I'll calculate the carbs and calories from those five pints. 
and that's how I'm able to adjust my carbs and calories on that particular day and on the days around that drinking session because my main goal is to stay fit even after the drinking session and if we're talking about long term fit lifestyles a big part of having a fit lifestyle is making the correct decisions especially when it comes to food and especially when it comes to the food you choose to eat with your alcohol now the protocol when it comes to food ideally is that you minimize your carb intake especially if you're drinking beer you're getting a lot of carbs from that beer or even that alcohol you're having otherwise and you want to limit your carbs So try having something like kebabs or nuts or something like that. But ideally, what I'd suggest is that you keep your food intake to a minimal and come home and have your grilled chicken and your boiled eggs and all that. That's what I do. But if you're the kind of person who likes eating out while you're drunk, I highly recommend you go and check out the video I made on eating out at restaurants and still staying fit. I've taken different cuisines and I've spoken about how each of them has their own health benefits if you take the correct decisions. So what you've got to take away from today's video is that beer doesn't give you beer bellies. What gives you beer bellies is having an unhealthy lifestyle overall, and that's what you got to take care of. But while keeping a track of having a healthy lifestyle, it's very important to have fun at the same time. Remember, real fitness happens in the long term, and long term fitness is only sustainable if you're enjoying yourself. So through the week, hustle, work hard, eat clean, go to the gym. But on weekends, once in a while, go out and have some fun. Even if you're not an alcohol person, go out and eat that cheat meal. You know, do what you want. But if you are an alcohol person, I genuinely feel that something like fitness shouldn't be the center of your life, and it shouldn't stop you from going out and having fun with your friends who don't gym. Don't be that dude who goes out with his friends and says no to the beer and no to the alcohol because you want abs. Remember, you're losing out a lot on life when you're losing out on these fun experiences. When you're dying, you may or may not remember all the workouts you did. but what you will remember is the good time you spent with your family and your friends and if fun and good times means alcohol for your friend circle or your family i really feel that alcohol isn't all that bad but in saying that keep in mind i'm not promoting alcohol an excess of anything is bad especially if it's something like alcohol that does harm your body once in a while alcohol's okay and it's a very important part of society according to me a lot of people drink So don't let your fit lifestyle stop you from having fun once in a while but drink responsibly that's what you got to remember Hey guys so that was the video for today if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up because I did this video kind of on a buzz so big buzz for the thumbs up big thumbs up for the buzz you know what i mean you know the drill handles facebook page and until next time guys happy new year and big 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 love to all of you see you